Okay, we have an IQ transformer. So the IQ transformer means that the power on the primary coil is the same as the power on the secondary coil. So the power of the primary coil is VI. So that will be 6 times 1, 6 watts. Okay, so to find out which pair of reading is possible, right? We just need to extend one more column and we calculate and find which pair of reading also give a power of 6 volts. So um, option A will give us 0 0.6 times 0 0.1, we get 0 0.06 volt. So this is not the answer. Okay, then option B, 0 0.6 times 1, we will get 0 0.6 watt. Also not the answer. Option C, 60 times 0 0.1, we will get a uh, we will get 6 watts. Okay, so this is the answer. And option D, 60 times 1, we will get 60 watts. Okay, this is also not the answer. So the answer should be C. Okay, usually when we when we want to transmit the electrical energy from a power station to our home, we will step up the voltage. Okay, the reason is very simple. Using the formula P is equal to VI, okay, the power is constant. So if you were to step up the voltage, you will decrease the current. Okay, and the power loss in the transmission cable is equal to I square R. So if you reduce the I, the power loss which include the square of the I, it will be very much reduced. So we can reduce the power loss and the heat loss in the power line. Okay, so the answer is C. Okay, when the lamp is being switched on, right, the potential difference across XY is 0 0.6 volt. Okay, that means the potential difference across the 20 ohm fixed resistor, it should be 6 minus 0 0.6 5.4 volt. Okay, with this, we can calculate what is the current that flows in this uh, series circuit. Okay, so the current here it should be the voltage divided by the resistance. So 5.4 divided by 20,000. So we'll get. 0 0.00027 ampere. Okay, so now uh, we want to find out what is the resistance of the light dependent resistor. We can use the formula. Resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. So the voltage here is 0 0.6 and the current is 0 0.00027. So the answer should be okay, we will get two 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 kilo sorry two 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 ohm. Okay, so when we change it to kilo ohm we'll get about two point two kilo ohm. So the answer should be B. This is a question on nuclear physics and it is out of syllabus since 2008. Okay, um, this is a recall question. So um, we need to understand the properties of a beta particle. So with this, we know that um, it cannot pass through 2 cm of aluminum and it is deflected by an electric field. Okay, so the answer should be B. Okay, in uh, oxygen nuclide, right, we see that um, the nucleon number is equal to 18 and proton number is equal to 8 that means the number of neutron is 17 minus 8 is equal to is equal to 9 okay so the answer should be A